Nepal, the land of Mount Everest and the Himalayas. Thus, people often think of it. But under the shadow of the Himalayas, distinct even from space, there lies a strip of plain land in the south. It's called Midesh, or Dirai. It is home to 12 million Madeshis, the native and indigenous people of Madesh. On this land lay the ancient kingdom of Janeka with its capital at the current town of Janakpur. On this very land was Buddha born some 2,500 years ago in Lumbini, and here lay his kingdom. Then this land was called Majimdesa in Pali, or Matedes in Sanskrit. Throughout history, this land was ruled by great dynasties and kings, including Emperor Ashoka and King Salhais. This और राजा सलहेश जे छले पुरानी काल के ओकर दोस्त छिए और ओकरे दोस्ती के हिसाब से एकर जे पुरानी काल में बहुत शक्ति रहे एक शक्तिशाली मंदिर छिए शक्तिशाली देवता के रूप में एटा पूजन कयल जाय छे ओवर टाइम दिस लैंड केम अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द मुगल्स एंड द ब्रिटिश स्टिल द सेन किंग्स ऑफ मदेश कंटिन्यूड टू रूल इट as suzerainty states. But later, the British handed over the regions of Madesh to the Gurkhas, the ruling class from the north. In 1816, the British handed over the eastern part of Madesh to the Gurkhas to support them in their financial destitution. The British handed over the western part of Madesh to the Gurkhas in 1860 as a gift for their support to the East India Company in suppressing the Sepoy Mutiny in India in the late 1850s. Thus, Madesh finally came under Nepal and the Gurkhas.
But in the Anglo-Gurkha War of 1814 through 1816, Medeshis had fought against the Gurkhas. So Medeshis were much like prisoners of war in the eyes of the Gurkhas. So in the Treaty of December 8, 1816, through which the British handed over the Medeshis and their lands to Nepal, they set a condition that the King of Nepal would not take revenge against the Medeshis. But would it save Medeshis? As soon as the Gurkhas controlled Madesh, they dismissed the existing armies of the Madeshis and virtually banned them from entering the army. And they started to rule Madesh as a colony, bringing the colonial armies and the administrators from the north. The ruling class started awarding lands in the south as grants and rewards to loyal subjects and landlords from the north. They started settling northern people, or Pahadis, in the south through several programs funded by the Israeli government and other agencies. In the 1950s, a huge migration from the north took place in Madesh. They settled even several towns in Madesh, like Itahadi. Madesh had remained mostly as a separate entity until the 1950s. Madeshis required a visa even to enter Kathmandu, even until 1958. But the ruling class from the north soon imposed a one country, one dress, one language policy. One had to wear a cap of the ruling class even to get citizenship. They also made Nepali language, the language of the ruling class, as a criterion for citizenship, a language that Madeshis didn't speak and didn't understand. They regarded the Madeshis as second-class citizens. Millions of Madeshis were denied citizenship. The Supreme Court even annulled citizenship of thousands of Madeshis, making them non-citizens. The Supreme Court also banned the use of Madeshi languages in Madesh for administration. 
and the government continued to grab land from the Madeshis and then distributed it to the ruling class Pahadis. This caused many Madeshis to be landless and displaced indigenous communities from Madesh. The indigenous communities, like Rajbanshis in Japa and Tharus in Chitwan, were displaced by the ruling class migrants from the north. Today, many indigenous communities of Madesh have vanished. Those who remained lived a life of hardship as landless or became bonded laborers who for generations lived as slaves under the ruling class landlords. Many Madeshis are landless. Every year, the government distributes land to the ruling class people from the north and settles them in Madesh. But the landless Madeshis barely ever get anything from the government. They work days and nights in the landlord's fields for bare food. But many times, they are not so fortunate even to get that work. 
ये गरीब आदमी भी धान करने पूजी रोटी भी ये काम ये अब तक है सब तो जो मकेला ही है मकेला था मकेला तो हमारे ये क्या था क्या नहीं था क्या नहीं था क्या ना है ना मांग को कि हम पढ़े कि यहाँ पर जब आ खा ले साइन में फिर जो साइन में खा ले ये वो काम में जो कर Some Madeshis flock to nearby towns, expecting to earn a daily wage to feed their children. But the towns of Madesh, too, do not have much to offer. The highway excluded all the major towns of Madesh and made them isolated and dead. Once vibrant, many of them have turned dry. Once famous, the colleges here have turned into rubble. Even the existing hospitals lie ignored. Hospital ki bahut dohar mila ke dostha se puche hai mera saaf sudar nahi karte to aye mera kya naam hai patient sir? Ye mera bahut patient sun par rahe lagi taklif.
once hailed as the destination of the international airport, the runway here lies muddy and no more flights operate from here. People say the government does not want any development here. It does not want Madesh to be seen on the world map. So despite other governments' offers to develop Madesh for tourism and international aviation, the ruling class has shown a red signal. The government has moved even the existing facilities in these towns in Madesh to the ruling class area. not much left. Even well-qualified Medeshis can hardly find